Jane Conroy and I are based in the Simmons Hanley Conroy offices in New York City, just a couple of miles from Ground Zero. On 9-11, we had a group of lawyers on trial downtown over in the state court. It was 8 o'clock in the morning and they were heading over and they were actually at the Millennium Hotel, which was right next to the towers. For every American and certainly for us, it was, a, it was just a horrifying day that was made even more petrifying because most of our colleagues were a hundred feet away. It made us, as everyone else, so outraged and devastated, and it changed our lives. On the days after 9-11, Paul Hanley, my law partner, and I just felt we needed to do something. And so we, we started to do our research and said, what is it? Why could this happen? How is it that there were the financial resources to put this terrorism group together? Terrorists are a corporate organization at, at the end of the day. And so we began to investigate, first of all, Tanzanite, which is a jewel that was smuggled and it was used to fund Al-Qaeda. We went to large jewelry stores. We said, you can't sell this anymore. It's, you're sponsoring terrorism. And in fact, they stopped selling Tanzanite completely. We investigated each one of the aircraft. We had tremendous support from the families to go forward, that they would stand behind us. They were not afraid. We represented almost 6,000 individuals who had lost loved ones. And we brought a lawsuit in federal court against the sponsors of terrorism. It became clear early on that there had been indeed negligence on the part of the airline security companies in letting those hijackers onto the planes. So we pursued claims on behalf of, uh, I believe it was 51 passengers who, who died on the four planes. That was very difficult litigation for the survivors. But at the end of the day, we achieved justice for those individuals. We are still pursuing on a separate track on behalf of virtually everyone who died on 9-11, some close to 3,000 clients claims against the financial sponsors of terrorism. And that is to say, various financial institutions in the Middle East and Saudi Arabia, various alleged charities which funneled money from donors in the Middle East directly to the hijackers, uh, and against the government of Saudi Arabia itself, which had a very permissive attitude about uh, terrorist training in their country. We're very proud of our work on those two separate tracks in the 9-11 cases. You know, the flag here is in our lobby and has the names of everyone that died that day. And this was given to us by a man who lost his son in the towers. He was, he was fully engaged with us and it's, it's hard it's such a grieving process, but along with that, he understood that he could take some action, and he fully supported us in everything that we did, and he is such a brave man. We feel that part of your obligation as a lawyer is to take on these extremely difficult, some might say nearly impossible cases, to at least do something for the victims of this terrible tragedy.